Hey everybody, it's Drum Jr. and today I'm going to be reviewing the tune or tunes. Basically the handheld tuner, this guy, by Orange Virus Tuning. Um, I've been running their 91 um, base map for the for a bone stock dry TC for about 10,000 miles now. Um, so this is a great video if you curious about the handheld tuner by these guys, curious about the tune, curious about what it's going to do to your car, curious about how it's going to run. This, I mean, you found a perfect video because I know back when I was looking to buy this, it was nobody else that had review had a review out, let alone a write up about it until I done it. I mean, I've done write ups somewhat in a way, just talking about the tune on the forums I'm in on um, Facebook. Not forums, groups. I'm on on Facebook, but I never done a video. I've been too lazy to do video, but I've been too busy. Um, just recently graduated from my own college, so um, this video is a great video. Even if you don't even currently have a TC and you wonder, like, wait a minute, y'all can tune TCs? Yes, you did tune a TC now. So basically, um, if you're not familiar with Orange Virus Tuning, it's a company that made a name for itself in tuning Mazda. Yeah. So how did Mazda and Toyota come to play? They figured out how to decode our ECU, which means they can play with our air fuel ratio, our timing and everything, and tune the goddamn car. So when I seen this drop, um, with Ralph, when I bought it, I think it's still around that price. It was four, like 400 bucks. So when I first ever flashed it, like when I started it up, you can tell it's a little bit like the timing is a little bit more aggressive you know it just seems a little bit different so you know i went off and drove it and you can notice immediately notice the throttle response is different between like the earlier like up to 3000 it was it revs way faster than it used to and then keep on pulling hard i later end up getting it tuned and it is making the 20 plus that they claim i'm making around 20 plus um currently right now i'm making an 170s to the wheels torque is right there with it so i mean the tune is worth it because i spent 400 dollars got five tunes well you get four tunes and plus your factory map so when i finally decide to go full boat on i can flash a different map you get what I say? So it, it was really worth it. So that's how the car is. I mean, it's just a whole different animal. It's quicker. It's definitely quicker. The car is definitely quicker. It's noticeable. I've driven this mixed. Like, you know, I've driven in city. I've driven in highway. Um, I've driven through the canyons, you know, on some fun spirit cruises type cruise through the mountains, if you know what I mean. So I've had my, you know, my foot in it and it's great. I mean, the tune, I know for sure the tune, it's the car is tuned right because if it was tuned bad, I would have definitely um, broke down by now, especially how I drive this car when I want to have some fun. So now I'm going to talk about my experience with the handheld tuner. So when you first receive it, you will receive it after, you know, you wait time for them to ship it out you receive it in like a nice box like this tuner be on the front like when you open it underneath would be like the wires usb wire and odp to port wire first thing you want to do is go on the computer go on the computer a windows computer go to their website download the proper software they have for the handheld tuner make sure the handheld tuner is up to date you're going to plug it into your car give it a odp to port download your factory map Right, your data for you to know if your car can even be safe to even run a tune and then you email them your map he, and then they send back your custom tune package that you load to your handheld and plug it directly to ECU and magic tada you tune your car it's simple it really is simple um so that's how that basically works and the cool thing about the handheld tuner is it's just not a device that have tunes it's also 
can be used also as like some gauges. And it also, you know, if you have a check engine light, it'll also read like, it'll show you your errors and stuff. You can clear codes and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. I'm actually going to plug it up right now and then show you guys what it looks like. All right, I just turned my car on. So there's a handheld tool that plugged up. So on the screen, you get like four options. You have tuning, setup, diagnostic information. If it's your first time ever having it, you're gonna go through the setup phase. And you gotta basically link it to your car ECU and get your maps. Once it's linked to, it, you only can tune one TC at a time. Once it's linked to a car, it's linked to the car until you, you know, disconnect it. So I'm not gonna go to information because it's gonna show my VIN and you're not gonna see my VIN. So if you wanna tune the car, as easy as going to tune. It's gonna check tuning file and process progress. So you'll be able to see it. You wanna continue right into the file and you just select whatever. See, it automatically highlights the original file and you need to keep scrolling down to 91 tune or whatever tune you want. See right now, whatever has the asterisk or the star next to is what you have on. So right now I have the 91 octane stock 6400 tune, which means stock as far as no bolt ons or nothing. See, this one is like the 91 octane tune, 6800 rev limited, FTS, full bolt on tune. Same, see how it's just different rev limited tune, this tune. So there you go. Um, so let me go back. So here's the area I was talking about diagnostics. You click it and you do have a read errors right here or anything like that. So I'm gonna go, go ahead and hit OED port and it'll show real time display. It'll show live data or at the C DTC codes or errors basically, but I'm gonna do real time data. So scanning pins, I'm gonna show you. So there you go. As you're driving, you can keep tabs on how your engine load is and fuel trim and all that, your mass airflow sensor, coolant temperature and everything. So it's really cool. So there you go. I'm revving. See how it's changing. So that's a cool feature that this thing is able to do. So, um, yeah, that pretty much wraps up this review. I mean, I can't think of anything else. I know I'm forgetting a whole ton of stuff, but if you guys have any questions about it, or would like me to show anything um, or tell you any information, just hit me up. Write a comment down below um, and then I'll get back to you. And uh, make sure you hit like.